na 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 Tom Vassell. We'll be right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dice Tower. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Roy Candy. And we're here today because we're just playing live games. And so there's two things that happened. One, I went to the store and bought a box of Unsanctioned. And we're going to play this a little bit later. This is a almost like a... Smash-up version of magic where you yeah, just basically. grab two colors, mix them together, and you play. But it's also silliness, so be warned on that. Yeah, for sure. This here that we're doing is called Magic the Gathering Battle Box. So, Pedrick, and I, pro I apologize if I said your name incorrectly, approached me at Dice Tower West. And he showed me this box of cards for Magic the Gathering. And he said that this was a way to play magic. And I was fascinated by it. And so he sent me a list of it. I got the cards. And so we're going to go over this. So there's a couple things if you're watching. This is a board game channel. Mm -hmm. Neither of us is a Magic the Gathering expert. Roy probably not knows anymore. more about the game no, than I do. <laughs> not anymore. So there's a chance we will not know what every term means. Uh, there's a chance we will not play optimally. Actually, that, the, that's true. The, the chance is, is quite high, actually. Um, yeah. But we're playing with these rules here, and, and it even says these are loosey goosey. This is a a uh, set a, a way to play called Battle Box. What we do is we build this big deck of cards. So there's just this huge uh, deck of cards, and I gave us both a deck here, randomly drawn from this deck. It's all different colors. How many cards is this? Here's a random card from the deck. Lightning bolt. Here's old school. Yeah, it is old school. Here's another one. Just a, a wolf. You know, these are none of these cards are going to be cards that are, you know, major. Most of these are commons and uncommon cards. Each of us is going to start. So we have a constructed battle box. I used Pedrick sent me a list of cards that he recommended. Gotcha. And I just got those cards. I don't even. I haven't even seen half of. I've already played and, this and once. How many letters did you get in the mail with those cards? Sixty-two. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never done something like this before. It was fascinating. I. Sent a, uh, I bought through TCG Player. Yeah. And you just, here's all the cards I want. You do it. They tell you the price. You press order. And then letters just started showing up. And I now have learned that people package, I've never seen packaging like Magic the Gathering oh, cards. Oh, for sure. They come in a penny sleeve, sometimes mm -hmm. in another penny sleeve, inside a plastic container, which is then taped shut, sometimes taped to another plastic container. I was, for the first time in a long time, I was worried about cutting myself. Yeah. As I was trying to open these, I couldn't do it by hand. So I needed to use a knife. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, and I also don't want to ruin the cards. Oh, so, for sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's normally how you ship cards, but I guess it's different when it's like a 10 cent card. It's like, really? <laughs> wow. What have you. Okay, so anyway, to do this, we brought that, and uh, we need a number of identical land sets. So what it mentions here is we each have one of each basic land, although we're using the really beautiful basic lands that came in unsanctioned. Came in unsanctioned. <laughs> so we have one of each of those. And then we each have a dual land. So we have a set of dual lands here. And so we have basically one man of all three types. Lots of guild gates. So it recommends that you play with 10 lands. That's what we have. And then the communal deck, blah, blah, blah. So here's how it works. We each get one land set. And these are set aside in the command zone. Then we take a good chunk of, of cards for our deck, which we did. You do not have to. You could have one deck if you wanted to. But they said it's good to have two decks in case there's a card that refers to your deck. Got you. All right. We're going to draw only four cards from the deck because mm -hmm. technically all these lands are in our hand. Right. And there's no mulligans. All right. Then your maximum hand size is seven. Again, not counting the cards in your zone. Mm-hmm. Each card that you draw is your card. Um, each turn you can put one land into play. Gotcha. Just as if it came from your hand. That's it. And if a card makes you put something in your library, you put it in the bottom of the deck instead. Okay, whatever. I wonder if there's specifically no ramp cards in here that refer to putting extra lands into play or like trying to get lands out of your deck to put them into play. I'm sure they're probably taken out. But we'll see. <laughs> Again, I'm going to defer to Roy's expertise on all of this. So we're actually, just so we're not confusing you guys, we're going to move these land cards to our hand. I just thought it looked pretty all us. set up like it that. It definitely for, did. And maybe we'll get there if the game goes 10 turns long. <laughs> all right, so we each draw four cards from our deck. So here's my initial okay. four. One, two, three, four. Mulligan rules? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. I, he just, <laughs> I, don't care I just though. said there's no mulligan rules. Ah. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's interesting, see what we got interesting, here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
All right, all eight drops, so it's going to be a uh, while before. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Well, yeah, well, I've already played this once with Jason Levine, and it definitely is going to be a little bit longer of a game mm -hmm. because you just can't get everything out. So right. we'll have to wait and see. I would um, love some card draw. That would be really cool if I can find something that allows me to get extra cards. In all right, so um, you're going to have to help me out here because last time I played Magic Real was with you where you beat me. Um, what? I would no never. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the first player, did I get to draw a card or no? Um, in multiplayer, you normally do. In two-player, you normally don't, but I don't know. They may have changed rules. No, okay, so player one stuff. doesn't get to draw a card, right? That, that's a disadvantage of going first. Right. Okay, I'll go first then. Um, okay, you're just gonna. Oh well, we. I was oh, gonna no. say, I thought there oh, was a mind. dice rolling right. thing on this thing. We have a thing here. Thing. Um, There's the dice there. That dice button. Do 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 do. You win! I'm going first. And that's the whole game. You just won. Good job, Tom. <laughs> it doesn't say you go first. It just <laughs> it says, says winner. You win. <laughs> all right, all right. So, I'm going to put into play a. Hand shuffle like a TCG player, Roy. That's what the chat is saying. Say what? You hand shuffle like a professional TCG. Well, I was I, I talked about that need. in the podcast recently. I so I play with some gamers and they just constantly. Do I this. have. But what, so tell me, a why lot do people of card do that? Experience, just fidgeting. You know, it's not so. It's, I, I doubt it's because people are looking at your hand, going, "Hmm, that's oh, where no, you played no, that no, card no. from." I mean, it's just like getting. I don't know. Just having done it for a while. Having cards in your hand, I don't know. It just feels like the right thing to do. What we need is we need like table cams for like poker, so way we can like show I'm up gonna the play the card this and be mana like, oh, card into play here. It's one of my dual tapped. lands. It's the green, red comes in tapped, and I'm done. You're cool. Turn. Now you draw a card. Ooh, I will draw a card. And as we get cards, we'll play them. The, that's a dual cool. land. It's well, not very I interesting. So, so I'll play them over here on top of this Minotaur. I'm going to do. Where is oh I don't have that oh I do have that combination I you will can look do at one of my beautiful single lands my favorite color combination green black uh, actually I think blue black might be my favorite but green black is what I'm going to play here my so favorite by far is red green gotcha yeah you're all about the aggro ramp no nah, I just like to play cool cards oh well big cards some would call you a Timmy are you done oh yes I am done See all right so untap I draw a card. Don't like it. I'm going to play myself here a Plains. And then I'm going to tap both of these to bring into play a Glint Hawk Idol. So what this card does, it says, Whenever another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Glint Hawk Idol become a 2-2 artifact creature with flying until the end of the turn. It's not one right now. Or I can play white. I can just use a white to make it become a 2-2 two, two artifact creature with flying until the end of the turn. So he either becomes one if I pay a white or if I bring another artifact into the game. Yep. And but that, it is not a creature currently. And that does tap your lands, right? It does, sorry. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, You're like, how's this game? Well, no, I don't think I'm going to okay. have that happen. Yeah. I have a random card that is... I. Hey, it's in it's the deck, dude. Okay, fine. Um, normally you have other cards that replace those when you don't play with sleeves. Normally That's fine. we're not playing for, for money here or anything, <laughs> so no one cares. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, Dude, I don't even know I'm what the card to, is. Uh, draw my card. What? I see a card. Down here. <laughs> it comes into play as that. So this is the bottom side. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I played with that set briefly. Um, I'm going to play my land, the most hated, my island, the most hated of all lands, because blue is evil. Um, everybody knows blue's evil. Um, and then I shall exhaust both of these, and I will play out my Coiling Oracle, which, listen, um, when Coiling Oracle enters the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library. <gasps> if it's a land, put it into play. If not, draw that card. It's definitely not a land, because there are no lands in the deck. It's true, but the person who made this knew that. All right, pick a random card out of my hand. You're never going to guess which one's which. <laughs> oh, that was a joke. I'm not actually picking a random card. No, 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 I'm just being Because it was pick one. If it's a land, you get to keep it. If it's a creature, it's discarded. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I just actually, play that when I'm going to actually put this in the library, this set, and I'm going to sleeve all the cards. Yeah, that would make sense. So. All right. Okay, how much does this guy actually cost to play? Oh, just a little guy. All right, so one tap, one tap. Cute little one one out there. Draw but I got a card. More cards in hand. Ooh, that's interesting. 
I like this one a lot. So I'm going to I'm going to play Oh wait, actually I'm not going to do that. That's not as good as I thought. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a I need a dual land. Here we go. Boris Guildgate coming into play. Comes into play tapped. Then I'm going to tap these two. Oh, here it comes. To play. A two mana thing. That's a white green. So mm -hmm. I'm going to play Call the Conclave. This says create a 3-3 three, three green centaur creature token. So here's my <laughs> green. 3-3 green. Three, three ice cream cone. Hey, hey it's, that's, got a, it's like a unicorn feel, more than a I feel a like it's, got it's fairly thematic. Look, folks, I bought these little ice cream cones off eBay. They're amazing. I can't think of a board game to upgrade with them right now, so I'm using them as tokens and magic. So designers, design ice cream games so that Tom Basil can put these into a game. I really do want to put them in a game somehow. <laughs> they look cool. awesome. I so mean, you guys can't three. see, but the detail on this is pretty good for a little ice cream cone. You're tapping Oh, because I tap them at 45 it's degrees? It's fine. 90 degree tap. Is, is, is... That's fine. I don't care about that. The, the, the whole you know lands in front of the into? creatures, that is despicable. Lands in front of creatures is... If you play lands in front of creatures, I don't want to play Magic the Gathering with you. That I'm just is saying, when I disgusting. first got into the collectible card game, the folks I play with, we all tapped at 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Lands in front of creatures feels like borderline cheating to me. Anyway. Um, Not to mention a couple things. A... This game isn't I'm that gonna, important. I guess I'm gonna B, go. you're all watching. You'll let me know if I cheat. C, C point one. I'm I mixing letters card. and numbers. I'm going to play down something, and it is going to be a cool thing. I don't know what it's going to be yet, though. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, I want to play another thing out. I want to know if there are instants in this. There seem to be instants. Yes, there's definitely instants Not in this Not that game. I have any in my hand. Okay, I'm going to diversify my color selection here. Well, that's good since and you we're already have go three. Planes. The one thing I like about this is what you basically play with all five colors. Yep. And we're going to exhaust them all to play Phyrexian Ranger. I'm so mad. Um, I lose one life and draw a card. Ah, you're winning, Tom. Yeah! Through no fault of your own, you're winning. But well, I hope it's no fault of my own. What's the hand size in this game? <laughs> Seven. Okay. Okay. There. You good? <laughs> yes. All right. I will untap my cards here. Oh wait. Uh, now. wait. You were tapped. Actually, I want to swing for one. Got it. Go ahead. So we're we're tied. Yeah, because um, yes. Because you wouldn't be able to activate this guy because you were tapped out. Do I have all my cards out? I feel like I'm missing one of my lands. Actually, I almost wish that card was your token as opposed to the... <laughs> Did I leave one of my lands up here? That was my yes. green land. Yeah, but I'm missing a dual land. I see one, two, three, four. I'm missing my fifth dual land. Which one is that? Well, Do you have it sitting over there as well? It's very possible that I put it there as the beginning. Yep, here it is. This is the one I wanted. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I'm White, blue. putting another one into play. Then I'm going to tap... Oh, I didn't draw a card, so I'll do that. Ew. I don't like that. All right, then I'm going to tap white and white to put into play the Inquisitor Exarch. When he enters the battlefield, choose one. You gain two life, your target opponent loses two. I'm going to make you lose two. Rush in the end game. No, it's just that I've learned my lesson about helping myself or hurting you it's yeah. hurt roy is my philosophy what? What? what nah then my three three is going to attack um so it taps i don't have any mana and i'm not going to block with my two two so i take three more that's correct tap that ice cream cone it is tapped <laughs> it's at 90 okay. degrees and then that guy is in the in play currently or is that what that, that guy spell is card? in play he has a two two. Oh, he's a two two and that's it there's nothing special other than that he hit you when he came out. Okay, let's see here. All right. Man, this guy's pretty okay. 
I just will put random cards for people to look at um, while we're waiting. Not that this means anything, because if you're a Magic the Gathering player, you've already seen all these cards forever and ever. Probably so. But you need to just show you what cards. That's a 6-6? Six, six? Oh, but he's the one that comes into play. I saw this one with four minus one counters on it. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to go Mountain. And we are going to go Big Dude. A 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. With Trample? Oh, I got to show everyone this one. All right. So here's a 4-4 four, four with Trample. And you can play a red-green. Discard this card. And you give someone else plus 4, plus 4. Basically, they're riding it. Says Tom should have had the opportunity to block Roy's one one with his three three. I know, he should have had the opportunity to block, but yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which would have killed your one one, right? I forgot that this is an ice cream <laughs> cone thing. It's fine. Well, I forgot too, so it's my own fault. I immediately realized that, and I was like, oh, wait, no, nah, never. Okay, cool, fine. I, um, I know Roy didn't point it out, though. I did not point it out. This is why I don't have Roy teach me new games. No. Yes. It's an ice cream cone. Um, this is tapped. This is a 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to attack with my 2-2. Two -two. You're going to attack with your what? My with your Phyrexian <laughs> Rager. Beware. We can kill each other, or you can just let it go through. It's up to you. Oh, well, that's actually I'm, interesting. Let me look at this card here. It's a Phyrexian Rager. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna let through. Hit me. You're just feeling sorry for me. Sorry for you. I, I fully expect to to lose. Here um, go. Oh, why we're we not using sleeves? Because a, I haven't bought the sleeves for this yet. Even though one, one store. Helpfully told us they were 10% off due to the virus. They were Even though we have like a giant bag of sleeves in the other room. Oh, that we are do? completely sealed. <laughs> okay, we'll sleeve them. But secondly, who cares yeah, right now? Literally, it's not a big deal. We're playing casually. It's fun. Okay, are you done? Yes. Are you, are you finished? All right, let's draw one. Oh, I like that a lot, but I can't do that. Well, who cares then? Um, ooh, now this is fascinating. I kind of want to do that. I don't want to do it, though. I kind of want to do that also. All right, I'm throwing a... I'm throwing a swamp into play. Swampy. And... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pay a white and turn this into a... Bird. A bird with flying, which I will then tap to hit you for two because I don't believe you have flying. I don't have flying. Um, but that's the only thing you're attacking with? Can't you switch back and forth? Or do no, you no, attack it's, with everything? it's all attacks at one time. Uh, add the two back. I will not do that then yet. I, I'm still paying the white to turn it into a bird. That's fine. And free kill spell. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so I'm going to... Okay, so yeah. So I'm going to attack with the bird. And I'm going to attack with the ice cream... Three, three? Actually, I'm going to attack with everything. Two, 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 three, three. All right, you still have a lot of mana open. Well, this one is automatically going... I mean, this one's going through. You right. can take the two. Well, I mean, I have to declare all blocks and then figure out where we go from there. Um, man, I'm getting decently low. Um, we're going to block the three, three here. And then we're going to let the rest go through, so I'd take four damage. Okay. Um, so this will kill here. I wouldn't die. And then I would take four. This guy went through? Yes. And this one went through? Yes. Is he a 4-1 at this point? Technically, yes. Okay. 
Good. Interesting. Do I want to do that? I do. So I'm going to pay a red and two others mm -hmm. to play Slagstorm. Okay. So Slagstorm either does three damage to each creature or three damage to each player. I think I'm going to do three damage to each creature, which is going to wipe the board. Okay. Including... Including my own. artifact. Goes away. I get it. Yeah. Okie doke. My turn. That may have been a bad idea, but that get rid of that stupid 4-4. Four, four. My turn. It was your turn. Did I not draw a card again? I don't know. How many cards you got? One, two, three, four, five. I drew, I used two draw cards, so it's not really analogous to count. Well, my I can cards actually count the turns because we have five turns. I drew two cards. I have so one, two, I, three, but four, five, six, seven. But I would only five, have drawn six, four times. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. My own fault if I did not. All right. I probably need to bring in the forest now. I almost can't watch this without sleeves. That's how. Silly. That listen again. These are these are. It's a game. Hmm. This isn't. I, I, don't get me wrong, it's okay to sleeve your cards and they protect them from wear and tear, but oh my goodness, I play all my games without sleeves. We're not playing game after like if you play the same deck all the time and you care about um, marked cards and stuff, sure, but we will sleeve goodness. this because we're putting it in the library, but for casual play, it's a game. You can't Definitely watch. Definitely play this. You're not going to want to watch me stick these in my mouth right now then. Um, I'll also play... This, I think. Um, target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non-land card from it. Remove that card from the game. Woo. Okay, so here I'm going to show my cards at the camera since everyone's going to see them out. Because so we have the uh, Grim Lava Mancer, which lets me exile two cards from my graveyard, and then I do two damage to somebody. Mm -hmm. We have this this member, which makes oh, the target wow. creature yeah. minus five, minus five. Yep. Um, we have this doppelganger, which can become a card in, I think, either graveyard, and it becomes a copy of that card, except uh -huh. it can doppelganger again. Um, and you can extort, which, let's, if I tap a swamp for any reason, I add black to my mana pool in addition to the mana the land produces. Okay. Which would you like to get rid of? Um... The... There's only one I care about. I'm going to get rid of... Let's just get rid of this guy. I don't want you copying my 4-4 four because four he was pretty strong. I do want to copy your 4-4. Four four. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Um, that card's stupid. And it's your turn. <laughs> All right. I'll untap everything. <sighs> Well, I like this one a lot, so it's getting played. Let me see if I can play another. I'll play another dual land here. It comes in tap, then I will mm -hmm. actually make, wait. I oh, don't know, I can't play this card. Never mind. Fine. I will still bring that into play. I'll tap this red here to put this grim lava, lava mancer into play. Now, I can't, it has summoning sickness, right. but I cannot use its ability either. No. You okay. can't tap it for that ability until next turn. Got it. Well, he's just there. Nah, I believe that's all I'm doing. So, I'm done. Okay. Um, that's it. I guess then I will unexhaust. Draw a card. Um,. Goodness, I need more. I need more. For those wondering. Huh? What app is that? Ah, wow. Random. Random the app. There's like a million of these things. Ooh, we can change the color. 
Oh, you yeah, don't yeah. like blue, so then I'm turn I'm making you black. Dun dun dun. And I'm a green guy, so. I figured the red. I saw that, but I figured the red and blue matched our background pretty well. But it's fine. Um, yeah, but I want people to see how evil you are. Oh, that black is kind of. No, that's actually in the app. I thought that was a glare. Nope, but yeah, it's, actually, it's kind of swirly like that. Okay, come on now. There we go. Okay, yeah, the green's harder to see. Well, whatever. I'll put out that Gilgate. I'm going to. Oh, man, that's a lot. I looked up Magic the Gathering, and this the was the first scoring app I found. I yeah, unfortunately maybe. had to pay $1.99 to get rid of these stupid ads. But yeah. we might, for usage here, I think it's pretty good. There's it's, so it's a, many of them online. This it's one's ridiculous. a really easy one for you to see. Okay. Um, where'd your Lava Mancer go? Oh, he's oh, over there. Oh, I'm just showing him off there, but he's still here. Okay. This says at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast the last turn, um, I transform him. You didn't cast any spells last turn, right? Yeah, but you did. No, no. It, last turn as in your turn. Well, isn't that a spell? Aren't all creatures spells? Um, If no spells. I guess you're right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to attack with this guy. He's currently a 1-1. One, one. I'll let it go through. Um, I will on oh, the stack. No! I will on the stack um, play this guy out. One, two, three, four. He's a three, three. Um, when he enters play, target creature gets plus two, plus two till the end of turn. So that's three damage now. You're allowed to do that after I declared he wasn't being blocked. One hundred percent. That's the way Magic the Gathering works. Really? Yes. See, this is where I'm showing my <laughs> ignorance. I did not know that such thing. Can you play like, I know growth. Can growth be played after someone I used doesn't to have block an, something? I, yes. I used to have an infect deck that was all about trying to slip a guy through and then being like, I would like attack with a few people. It's like, I block here, I block here. And this one guy would get through and I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. All I'm saying, if I knew that card was in your deck, possibly in 200 cards that were randomly chosen. You had a better chance of knowing <laughs> existed than I did. <laughs> I would still okay. want it. Uh, um, so you go down three. I would still let it go through. Because how would I ever know that you had that card, right? Right. Well, and I could have just buffed him by two. Can you do that? With his it's ability. only when he comes into play. That's this guy. And yeah. it's still a 3-3, three, three, though. Yes, he seems pretty I okay. I do not like that. Um, but it is your go, sir. All right, all right. Hey, man, I'm happy. I got you down Half-Life. I feel like that's, <laughs> that's, that's a win for me. an achievement. All righty. I'm going to put into play another double land. Then I'm going to tap. Don't do it. A black, a Don't black, and a white. Don't do it. And I'm going to put in this vampire oh, nighthawk. Man. That's a flying death touch lifelink creature. I really vampire like this a lot. Vampire nighthawk is like real good. It's a rare. It's not a rare. But it's cool. <sighs> is he a 3-3 so, three, three or? He's a 2-3. Two, three. A 2-3. Two, three. Yeah, but I'll take a 2 life link any time. Uh, did I say life lock? You can't life. play creatures during combat. It's a flash. Come on. Ah. I'm just the card says you can play it at any time. It's a flash. Yes. Oh, I'm not arguing. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm good. And uh, bu buddy, bu buddy, I could have played this card during his turn. I'm done. Okay. Go ahead. Um, cool. Oh, wait. Hang on. Before I'm done, I, I realized I guess I could exile two cards from my graveyard. Yeah, why would I not do that? I will. I will spend that and tap him. Exile two cards from my graveyard. Mm -hmm. And I'll do two damage to... Ooh. I could kill that thing, right? You could. More fun to hurt you. Minus two. Okay. Get me down. Get me down. I don't like it. I'm going to draw a card. I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah. I never this. show people this. I'm going to show quick people real quick this Briar Pack Alpha. So you can see that's the card that Roy used when he sent in this little, this captive guy who was like, ah, ah. We're like, let that guy through. And suddenly he turned into a wolf, bit us, and then ran back. You know what you did. That's why green is awesome. Green is okay at best. No, I'm just kidding. How many different magic cards are there? In in reality? Whew, 
a, a big number. A How large many different number. magic cards are there? There's just a counter that's constantly going up. <laughs> there is more than 20,000 cards. I'm sure, for sure. That is not an exact number. Do not like that. Yeah, more than this number, obviously. 20,000 okay. different cards. We're going to double attack. We're, We're not playing all. on sanction, by the way. We're playing battle box. We're swinging all. And I'm afraid to let anything through anymore. <laughs> We're swinging all. Well, I could kill that 3-3 three, three if I wanted to. Swinging all. I'll let it go. Um, okay, hold on. I have decisions to make. This hat is very uh, sweat inducing. Mm, we're going to do. See how I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day? By playing Magic the Gathering in a group where there's only three of us. We're going to do this to use this ability here to boost him by 2 2 until the end of the turn. So I'd be six damage going through. I see. I, I, I should have killed him earlier. Oh. The vampire has lifelink, Tom. You can race. I don't know what that means. He's saying to. He's trying to give you strategy tips. Oh, true strategy. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I don't want to do yeah, this. Yeah, that's the point. I guess I should have hit the wolf because that would have given me plus two health and killed the wolf. But man, there's so many choices here. You're not done? Go. All right. You'll be back. I like this card a lot, so I'm gonna play it right now. All right. There's a lot of good things here, but I think I'm going to play a green, a white, mm -hmm. and a blue. I always play these single ones first. A green, a white, and a blue. And... I'm going to play the Bant Charm. Oops. This and lets me do tab. one of these. Destroy target artifact, put a target creature in the bottom of the zoner's library, or counter target instant spell. So I'm going to put... What does it do? Oh, it's over there. I'm oh, putting... Wait, where'd it go? I'm putting uh, <coughs> your wolf-bitten captive on the bottom of your deck. This guy? Yeah, that guy. The one I'm pointing at. Oh, on the bottom of my deck. Yes, as an instant. Hmm. I think that's fine. Doesn't Roy have a creature that transforms? It should now. Um. Oh, it's only when it you don't play spells. I played spells on my turn. Regardless, even if he had transformed it, it's still, still on the going on the bottom of his deck. <laughs> then I'm gonna pay. One red and tap this guy to exile two cards from my deck. Graveyard. And I'll do two more damage to you. Six. And then. And that is all I'm going to do. Hmm. I'm going to attack with this guy. You cannot block that, I know, but I oh. will. Yeah, I will do things. Um. I'm going to go ahead and throw down this fairy that has flash, whoosh, flying, and protection from blue. I feel pretty confident that I can tap this blue and this one to counter target creature spell. I wonder how the protection works if protection comes into play after. Protection's always a weird one to me. Does does it have protection from blue while it's being played, or that only happens after it's in play? Oh, oh it has protection from blue. 
Yeah, I'm sure chat would know, but that's one of those timing things. The protection might not go into effect until it's on the table. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. There's a little delay. Yeah, it might become apparent. I'm okay with either one because I actually shouldn't, didn't even hear you say protection from blue. <laughs> I wouldn't gotcha. have played the card because I would have just assumed I could not stop it. Right. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how the timing works on that. Um, I, it's been a while. I haven't played Magic very often recently. Protection's always a interesting one, too. Still counter the fairy. Okay, cool. So yes, protection it can be come. FTP. Free to play, I think. Cool. I think they're talking about something you're, else. You're good. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right. Right, yeah. That's weird. Okay. Um, wait, I could counter that. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to counter your counter spell. All right. So this stays in play. Fair so I'm counter your counter spell, but it, it is delayed. It comes into tur into play. So we put three, three counters on it. All right, so I'm going to put this out here. And this time we're going to be putting cheese counters. I'm pretty sure this is all just an excuse for you to use counters. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Three like, you don't counters. even care about this game. You just want to put right. cool counters on stuff. If it's been removed from... Okay, I'm going to put it here. So it says, remove it from the game with three time counters on it. And if it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. Beginning of its round, remove the time counter when it's, and it plays it without paying its mana cost. I just need to not so I have to play like, it. I have to not play a creature. Not play a creature in three turns. Right. Got it. All right. <laughs> cool, so I'm here. All right, anyway, so I, you're dead. Oh, I did all that to, I did the wrong thing. to keep you alive. This, this guy. Kill your fairy. Okay, now I have this fairy. The fairy has flying. The fairy's going to block. I touch your fairy with death touch. Cool. <laughs> but I do deal one damage to you while that happens. You also have life link, so you gain two life. No. I only dealt one damage to you, right? I think it still counts as the two. You still get the two. Really? Yes. Okay, weird. So my overkill counts? All right. Um, and then I will tap this swamp to disfigure that guy and deal, make him minus two, minus two. Now that I did one damage to you, it'll kill you. Ah! That was a whole lot of work just to kill that really good, inexpensive card. That was a really good card, so I, I, I would also have put that much work into it also. Well, I can't have you lifelinking constantly because I'm just going to 100% lose. I was okay know. with that 100% you losing thing. Okay. Michael? Uh, yeah, here's your delay, by the way. I'm going to leave don't... delay. We know it's in your pile here, but I'm going to leave it over here so I can remember what it does. Okay, my turn. That yes. was a lot of work to make that happen. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Magic the game. He says gross, and I still feel like he's going to win. This is, no, I'm just saying. This Roy's like, what? Oh, I'm only going to win by that a was little a bit? Three, that was a three for one. That's terrible card advantage. Um, What do I need to put here? We're going to do this. White, blue, tapped. Um, let's see. That's not really going to help me. This person me. says Vampire Nighthawk is bunkers. Vampire Nighthawk's pretty pr good. Pretty good. We're going to do this first. Why do I keep throwing cards everywhere? Because you're a cheater. If, if you had any clue what any of these cards did, you would know what happened to them because I keep accidentally showing oh, yeah. my cards. Well, I don't know anything, so. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to save some stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. Because I need to get it done. This card, this card, this card, and this card. Uh, do I want to do that? Or do I want to progress? Now we're going to stay with... We're going to stay with this. Um, we're going to play this. Target opponent reveals their hand. I choose a card from it. Um, and you discard that card. Hey, it's the same two things. That Crypt Ghast and that Dismember. I get rid of Crypt Ghast. Why'd you bright my brain? Um, and then I get to draw a card. Cool. That was a very. That'd be awesome if I could have actually played that. Um, and then I guess I'm just gonna continue to race this thing. I'm going to attack for three. All right, hit me for three. Anything else? That should be it. One cheese is gone. I have to make sure not to play creature that turn. <laughs> Comes back. You're gonna be like, and the cheese. <laughs> no. Oh, this is stupid. I guess I'll just. Again, the rule is if you go below your strength, you die, right? Your hit points. No, if a creature, if I played a minus on that guy and he goes yeah. to zero zero, he dies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I will do that then. I'll pay one and two blacks. Mm-hmm. To make it minus five, minus five. 
Cool. I will dispel that card. Hang on. Let me see what that says. Counter target instant spell. Yeah, but I also have a blue, which lets me counter target non creature spell unless you pay two more. Which somehow you managed to have. Okay. Fine. Game's stupid. Well, I, I, I'm going to do the same. Hit you for roll. two. You got to get rid of cards from your discard pile. Oh, bottom. yeah. Well, I got plenty. Down to four. <laughs> On a two-turn clock here. And I think you're winning that two-turn clock, right? Uh, no, because you can hit me for three. I can hit you for two. All you got to do is throw out another creature, man. You I got need it. to throw out another creature. Can you wait one more turn before you throw out the other I creature? I would like to not. Um, <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, we're playing um, Battle Box. I think it's called Battle Box. Yeah, Magic the Gathering Battle Box, which is a way to play with a whole lot of commons and uncommons and a few cheap rares. And I think it works pretty well, actually. This is this is casual, casual magic, we're gonna which play works this. really well Doesn't for me. Doesn't matter at this point. I know it removes um, the deck building one, from the two, game. Three, but four. Meh. I don't want to deck build all the time. I'm just putting, I'm showing you examples of some of the cards that are in this set. These aren't in this particular game. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I do want one, you two, all to three, notice four, five, the time two, difference. Sure, I know, I know, I know. How much These time I take on my turns and how much time you Roy have takes no cards in your hand, and I have tons of cards in my hand. It makes it harder. When I did have cards in my hand, I still move quickly. But don't worry, you're still going faster than Jason. Okay, I'm going to. Do this. I need to get this. So I'm talking here. about a new idea I have, where you take the amount of time that you play a <laughs> game, and divide your points in the game by that, and that reveals the true winner of the game. So the guy took an hour, then. and I only took half hour. I only have to score 50% of the points he scored. I'm gonna put this down. Oh, this was untapped. I'm gonna put this down. Ooh, that's like the basic angel of angels. I'm going to exhaust this, which lets me draw a card. Um, when I cycle it, actually, I have to get rid of this as well. Draw a card when I cycle it. Actually, no, wait. I don't want to do that. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, yes, that's fine. Uh, I get to draw a card when I cycle it, and um, I put a plus one, plus one counter. Can you get an ice cream cone on yes! this, Angel? <laughs> I draw a card. This angel's eating ice cream. No, plus one, plus one. This. That's three, not two. Okay, cool. Um... And I'm going to attack with my 3-3. Three, three. Okay. It's a tie game! Are you done? Yes. Good. Yeah, well, this is it. Unless I can pull, I'm top decking here because I don't got nothing. If you do something that does direct damage, you just have me. Nope. So, I'll just, I'll pay one to do two damage to you. And then I'll play two plus a green to put in a wolf who hits you for minus one counters, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, he's in fact. Oh, man. No, he's cool, but it doesn't matter now. And then you can just hit me. He's so not that great in, uh, in, in, a, in a deck like this because either you have to go all in fact or not much in fact. It's kind of strange. Oh, anyhow, uh, I can't block your angel, so. Oh, no, I could block your wolf, though, right? Yes. Now there's a possibility. Also, one of these cheeses is gone. Go ahead, untap. You should be able to win this turn, though, right? Maybe. Well, if you can't. I think it depends on oh, I forgot on to I put build. a land out last turn. I'll just throw it in this mountain. You could win this. I think I'm definitely going to play that out. Stop with the Jason put downs. No way! I'm not putting down Jason. I'm saying I just played Jason in this on Saturday, and he took longer than Roy. That's not a put down to Jason. I'm saying Jason took a long time. Jason also whooped up on me. That's a put up. I'm killing this guy with that. Is that the opposite of put down? Put up? I'm killing you Did with I put up with someone? I'm, <laughs> I'm killing him with Executioner's Capsule. I played one for that, and then two for that, and okay, then Sacrifice so to kill Okay, so now you win. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and then I swing all. No! 
good dad. I don't know. It's kind of it's dad. interesting. It makes it where it's magic, but then you know it's like closer to have, KeyForge, right? Right. Well, you don't not closer to KeyForge, closer to Hearthstone, because you don't have to worry about the mana. Well, as much. Uh, yeah, but in Hearthstone, you make your own deck. Right, right, right. I mean, you could make your own if they had certain deck building rules. You could make your own decks in this. Yeah, but then I wouldn't want to play people because I, I, I just want to play casually. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't want to play against you where you're like, oh, 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 and then you bombard me with some oh, combo. Sure. I mean, you're already doing that without having built your deck, so that was enough. All right. No, I like it this way. This is my preferred way, other than Commander. Commander's fun too, but that's because this and Commander. Feel very similar. I love Executioner's Capsule. The that's, only difference uh, between this and Commander, I mean, Commander, deck. you build your own deck, but it's a hundred card deck. Um, here, give, give me unsanctioned. All right, which colors are you going with? Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm gonna draft first. So I pick one color, and then you pick one of the remaining two colors, and then, um, well, yeah, that's not even a question. Uh, green. Unsanctioned, so crazy. Okay, so you're Take going green. Take your two colors. You said you were a bl black. Blue black. I'll do blue black then. And then you're uh, gonna take white. Oh, you're not gonna do green red? Uh, all right, I'll take red. Green red. Okay. Here, I'll bring out these token creatures. My, why are dice in the game? Uh, I think maybe you have to roll them for some of these crazy cards. That's possible. So I have actually not looked at these cards at all. Have you? No. Now, this actually has lands in them, right? Yeah, these are normal lands. So we are playing normal Magic the Gathering now. So this is uh, Magic Unsanctioned. Here, pop the box up so people can see it. Oh, oops. No, no, no. This is crazy. Card. The These are layer. not sanctioned. These all have silver borders, and in Magic the Gathering, silver borders may not be played in official tournaments, which I never, I shouldn't say never. I partake, I partook in one once. You, you partook in a pre-release, which is slightly different. Well, that's official. You can't use a silver border in a pre-release. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't think they do pre-releases for the unsanctioned stuff. Probably not. So then this one, it came with five decks, and then each deck has 30 cards, and you pick two and put them together and play the other person. I guess you could mix it with other things like unglued. What are they on now? There's unglued, unhinged. unhinged, and unstable. This is the fourth set, I think, that's like this. It's funny, because when I was in college... I think this has some the, cards The first one of these sets came out, and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. I was like, ah, oh, this, is, this is hilarious. So you have you looked at the cards at all? In this uh, set? I watched a video that was just talking about the value of the thing itself, if like it was worth it. And they basically were comparing this a lot to board games. They're saying this is really cool, but the price cost of this compared to like a board game, you can get way more fun out of a board game. They wish that it would have had a lot more of the combo decks to smash together. They're like the Smash Up idea is really cool. Well, the Smash Up idea though is coming later this year from Magic. Right. Yeah. You'll be able to buy that. like what twenty card packs and you mix three of them. Yeah, something like that. I'm actually really interested in that. I'm going to buy... The problem is those 20-card packs are still random. Mm -hmm. I would buy like 10 of them and put them in a box like, and make it smash if, up. If people were mad about um, unsleeved cards before, how do they feel about me riffle shuffling? Psh, whatever. We're riffle riff shuffling. These are probably spin down life counters. They're not 20s, 20s they're 6s. I think I think specifically this set has stuff where. Oh, I how do I reset you. this? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm back, baby. I, I hit the button until I was up to twenty, <laughs> and it made it way, way more difficult than that. Okay, cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. I have this to tell is you, be, when so. I when I played with people who are big Magic the Gathering fans, I'm amazed that they just have these traditions and things to hold cutting, and they take it very seriously. Oh, and for I, sure. I just don't care. Oh, uh, for sure. I, I don't think Roy cheated putting his deck together, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, but... But, I mean, I have been in Magic tournament situations where some shenanigans have gone on. Sure, so I guess. It's just that I would it's not It's when you're playing with, with random people, people like that. you know. I didn't like to play with people like that either. People take it too seriously sometimes. Your sideboard is 15 cards, not your entire collection. You know who you are. There was a guy who uh, I played in a tournament with when I actually got really far in, but for some reason he was sideboarding. He was like, oh, I didn't build my sideboard. Is it okay if I do whatever? Which is fine when he played me, but then he played my friend also. He was like, oh, I didn't build my sideboard. Let me get, get my cards out. It's like, no, for real, you need to have a 15-card sideboard. You can't go through your entire collection to change your deck in between each game. He had like a briefcase. It was, it was interesting. I still beat him though, so whatever. <laughs> 
I feel like there was some moral to that story. So now I draw seven, right? He beat my friend, though, so that made me sad. So I draw seven. Oh, yes. And I can One, say two, mulligan three, four, five, if I want six, to, but I'm not going to. Seven. I might say mulligan if I have no lands at all, because well, we're not playing the... that's what you're supposed the... to, right? What is this? Blue-black? Ugh. I'm going to stick with this, because... Oh, my word. Um, this, this particular card has five different <laughs> keywords on it. I'm sure you're going to know exactly what that does. All right. Do we want to oh. do random who goes first? Oh. Or do you want to choose? Oh, garbage. Do you want to do random who goes first or do you want to choose? Ooh, I thought there was a fly on this card, but Since it's just the artwork. you lost the last game, I'm giving you the privilege to choose. First oh, I want second. to go first. Okay, you can go first. All right, all right. I'll put my deck into play. I'm, I'm uh, playing a green land. I'm done. A green land. A forest. Fine. Some would a call forest. It. It's a, a green land. Am I wrong? Oh, I get to draw a card. I will draw a card first. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> huh. That's interesting. I'll put this into play then. You have something that's free? No, no, it's a land. But that's going to be my land. Underdome. Add one man of any color. Spend only to play silver bordered cards. Which all the cards are silver bordered. I got any color mana. Which doesn't matter. It's 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 basically a swamp and a and a island at the same time. You have a land that's just a man of any color. I feel like that's broken. Well, it's only for silver bordered cards. All of the cards are silver bordered. That does seem. Yes, as I like to go back and. <laughs> So it adds that special mana. What's that top one? It's that that's, that's just colorless mana. It normally adds colorless mana. The crazy thing is that it doesn't come into play tapped. Sure. But it doesn't matter because I don't have anything to play. So well, it's your it matters turn. later on when you have any color you want. So lucky. I'm pretty sure like after a couple turns, I'd have any color I want anyway. All right, another forest. I'll tap both of them. Here comes Bingo. Or I'm sorry, specifically B-I-N-G-O. All right, so this says trample. It's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> but whenever any player casts a spell, you put a chip counter on its converted mana cost. And he's plus 9, plus 9 for each set of three numbers in a row with chip counters on them. So, oh, <laughs> so yeah, I have but... to make sure not to play with... Uh, I can't play a 1, 2, and 3. So stupid. Or a 1, 5, and 6. This is bothering me. There's this fly here. I thought that was on the card. It is technically on the card. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, my turn. What is this card? I'm ready for this. Let's do this. I'm gonna play the stupidest card ever. Ready? No. You may be wrong on the stupidest you're, card ever. You're, you're going to have to change the camera angles here in a second. My turn. <laughs> oh, go ahead. All right. Swamp. All right. Ready? Um, um, no. I'm going to do it. Where'd, it go? Oh, where'd the card go? We're going to play dun -dun -dun -dun, Into the Dungeon. The players play a magic sub game under the table starting at five life using their libraries as their decks. Um, using their libraries as their decks. The winner searches their library for two cards, put those cards into their hand, and then shuffles the library. Let's get under the table! Wait, what? We have to play a game underneath the table. Put on the thing over there. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> it says libraries as your decks. So What's a library? This is your library. Your deck is your library. So I guess, oh, we have to take this. So we leave these cards, all the cards we currently have on the table. We take this and then draw seven new cards and then play another game at five life. Let's do this, Wait, Tom. So what does the winner do? I'm going on the table. <laughs> you know, Tom, some of us are not as what young are you and limber for, as the rest of us. Tom, what are you, what are you waiting for, Tom? Let's go to the table. Ow. I hit my head. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to reshuffle. Do you want to cut again? No. <laughs> Don't reshuffle. What does it matter? <laughs> okay. 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 How do we... Listen. Unsanctioned, you have to follow every rule. 
I'm following the rules. I'm just saying this is against Dude. tall people. All right, let's come on, Mike. Why aren't you helping us out? I didn't know what you wanted to do. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're gonna say we're gonna have to play towards towards this edge of the thing here. We're gonna have to play over here a little bit. <laughs> have to play in here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes Roy right now. <laughs> okay. I'm you sure. gonna draw seven? One, yes. two, three, four, five, this six. This is just five seven. life, right? It's just five life. I'm I'm willing to let you win this practically. I get two cards then. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Um who goes first? Did it specify who goes first? Dude, I guess we have to roll again. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Alright, let's let's All right. no one had lost any life, so we're fine. Oops. Oh, I need to come back this way. Okay, five life each. All right, let's randomly pick who goes first. I get to go first! <laughs> Please win as quickly as possible. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, guess what? I'm gonna play another Underdome! It's the exact same card! I have two of them in the deck. I can play any silver bordered cards. Oh, You're I thought you were saying another under the table thing, and I was like, we, we can't. We gotta go into the basement. <laughs> this is Florida. There is no basement. Okay, let's go. Got it. I hope Chat's enjoying this. I did this for you. Do we have any sealed magic booster packs? No, no particular reason. Just asking for a friend. Hmm. Do we have any sealed magic booster packs in the office? No, why? I don't think this card's gonna be that good then. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw a card. I will play a forest, your turn. Um oh. people turning in right now are like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna draw. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dice Tower. <laughs> this is actually the Dice Dungeon. The Dice Dungeon Tower. I'm just glad the floor is fairly clean. I mean, people are excited that they're seeing the carpet. <laughs> okay. This is not that great of a carpet. I'm going to play the Swamp. I'm going to play... You Dirty Rat! I'm going to play the Dirty Rat. Um, exhaust 2. Um, when it comes to play, opponent discards a card. So you have to discard a card. I don't care. Here's a mountain. Get rid of it. Why are you so so negative? This is the best. This is the most fun I've ever had playing Magic. This card's not going to do me any good without. Okay, I'm playing another anymore. forest. Tapping okay. both forests to put out a wild crocodile. When this creature enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card. Blah blah blah. There, I'm putting this in my deck. I'm shuffling. <laughs> my turn. Is that a one-one? No one cares. Yes, it's a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Oh, man. Wait. How does this card play? Um, That's a 1-1. One, one. Why would I do this? I'm going to go ahead and play an Island. I'm going to play out... We, we seriously don't have any booster packs? No, what do you... What? I want to play booster tutor. What do you think this place is it like... It allows me to open a sealed magic booster packs and put one card from it in my hand. If we were at the store, I would buy you one, but since we're not, I can't. Lewis says you could use the battle box as an unsealed pack. What is it? He says you could use the battle box as an unsealed pack. Ooh. Lewis is not Ooh. the master of <laughs> this game. I think Lewis is right. Let me see the card. It's this card. Open a sealed magic booster pack. I'm sorry, but I feel like this rule is very I'm specific. Snickering squirrel. Sealed booster pack. Well, listen, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to cool stuff. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. I can't play this card. Tom, you stay under the table. I I'll be right back. Five people in the store. Was it how many people? They're not there? opening till four. <laughs> Okay. But then they have a rule that if they can't have more than 10 people in the store or something. I am one person. Yeah, but I'm hoping there's 10 people in the store. I'm like, okay. sorry, you can't I'm celebrate. attacking with my rat. Are you defending with your crocodile? Will they both die? Yes. No. I'll take the hit. You oh, take a no. hit. You're going down. Listen, with my squirrel, um, I can tap it and increase one to any die rolled. Because you roll lots of dice in Magic the Gathering. 
Well, actually, some of us do, but yes. Here you go. All righty, I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. I, I really wish I had done a mulligan on this little mini game here. Oh, you just have all lands? We good? I'm done, and okay. I'm not attacking. Okay. <laughs> An exhaust, draw a card. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to, mm, I'm gonna play a Swamp. Um, I kinda need to play, I'm gonna play Johnny Combo Player. I can't really do anything with him right now. He's a 1-1, one, one, but he has search your library for a card and put it into your hand. Got it. Um, I'm going to attack with both my Dirty Rats and my Squirrel. Got it. You take two damage. I didn't block, because I'm going to get out from underneath this table soon. <laughs> How so? What if I just refuse to attack? <laughs> um... I'm playing the pointy finger of doom. No! What's Later on, I'll be able to pay three, then I can spin it in the middle of the table. What if you're on the floor? Well, Does it specify? No, I'm pretty sure our card set to four was the table. Oh. And then, if, and then it destroys the closest permanent the finger points to. So I'm just going to practice. This is not a real... I think I can spin it on this here. Wow, this is not spin well. Um, you're, gonna, you're giving me more life. Oh, you no, died. No. <laughs> I think that's that's six. Okay, ready? My turn. Yeah. Oh. Wait. You only have one creature, and I have three, and you only have two life. Yes. And you have no life. Things. Oh no! What should I do? I sure hope you don't attack me. Oh, well, I'm gonna attack with. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Um. I'm going to... I'm just going to swing all. I'm not blocking anything. You win. Yay! Get up there. Now listen. You have... I'm giving you one minute. To pick a card? To pick the cards from your deck. You're not going to sit there for a year. I sure hope there's cards. another copy of Enter the Dungeon. If you put that in your hand, <laughs> I will quit the game. Listen. And I believe I will have justification to do so. Listen, listen. Uh... There's all sorts of different strategies in the game. Yeah, one of them is called annoying your opponent to death. That it, annoying your opponent to scoop is a good strategy. Um, so it is not a good strategy. That's actually one of my least favorite. The people on Hearthstone who take a long time to take their turn try to do that. Ugh. Ugh. I need something good. So Booster Ugh. Tutor is not good because it seems like we don't have any... Okay. I'm going to definitely get that. Um, and... I'm back. What was the card you played? The answer to dungeon. Two. Done. I'm putting cheese on the two. Oh, I should have paid attention to that. There's the two. I just really need to not play a zero cost, or six cost, or three cost, or one cost, or five cost, or seven cost. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of cards I should not play. Is this Magic Quelf, says somebody. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. How do we start this? this? this. Oh, there. Whoop, 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 whoop. So your whole turn was that enter the dungeon. Yeah. Help me. Help me. <laughs> you bought this box. You're right, and it was my you idea to do this. You knew the consequences. I didn't know there was that go on the floor card. Does that card exile after you play it, or can you play it again from the graveyard? Um, I, I don't see anything. I, I there was like three copies of it. I chose uh, my my other two cards are both entered the dungeon. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it doesn't exile. Cool. I don't even understand half of what this card does.
All right, I'm just going to play this card, and then you can tell me why it was a mistake to have played it. All right? So it cost me two greens. I'm okay. playing Old Fogey. Okay? So according to the thing here, uh -oh. Old Fogey has phasing, which I don't know what that is. Cumulative upkeep one, which I don't know what that means either. You have to pay one each turn, or I guess it goes away. Okay, well, that's fine. Echo. I don't know what that means. I know what that means in Hearthstone. Does that mean it goes back into your hand? Fading three. I don't know what that means either. Bands with other dinosaurs. Don't have any, so that one probably, probably going to ignore. Protection from homerids, which I don't know what that means. Um, Snow-covered planeswalk, which is not going to happen in this game since there's no snow-covered anything. And um, flanking and rampage two. But the quote is my quote. These kids these days with the collector numbers and their... Newfangled tap symbol. 20 Black Lotus and 20 Plague Rats. That's real magic. Uh, Guess I'm going to look up all this stuff. Just look up Echo, because Echo might mean it goes back to your hand. Echo, magic. Unless you play it again. Echo means you have to pay for it again next upkeep. I got to pay for it every turn? No, just next upkeep you have to pay the full price. But then there's a cumulative upkeep of you have to pay an extra one. Got it. So I'm going to have to pay three next turn and then one every turn after that. All right, I got that part. What's fading three? Does that mean it goes away in three terms? Maybe. Okay, well, I need to know what fading means. And I don't care about bands, protection, and snow covered. What's flanking and rampage two mean? If you don't pay the echo cost, you have to sacrifice. That's fine. I get that part. That, that I've seen that before. Um, phasing means it exiles next turn. What? <laughs> so you shouldn't have played it, Thomas. Well, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I know, but it doesn't have haste, does it? Well, I can use it next turn. When does fading happen? It goes in and out of play. Wait, what does it mean? I'm not sure exactly how fading works. These kids with their newfangled keywords. Phasing. It doesn't exist. It causes permanents to phase in and phase out. It was last used in Commander 2017. Rampage's damage carries over. So two damage. Okay, so though. hang on. When a permanent's phased out, it's treated as if it doesn't exist. It cannot be affected by the game in any way, blah, blah. So, a permanent with phasing enters and leaves play without any involvement. At the beginning of a player's turn during the untapped phase, any permanents with phasing in play phase out, and any phased out permanents phase in. Does it say during the upkeep? <laughs> so it's just going to disappear. Phasing means it exiles one turn and comes back the other. So I need to pay. Okay, so. Flip the card over every turn. Only usable when phase out. <laughs> All right. So, but what does fading mean? Fading means it will only last so long. Moral of the story. I hey, think, no. I, think, uh, I, think I didn't make this, us plan at the table. I so think this game him. is more for laughing at the cards than actually playing it. Fading is a keyword ability that limits the number of turns of permanents on the battlefield. You remove one fade. So it's only going to be on the table for three turns. So hang on. Oh, but you have to pay turn. a whole bunch of extra cost to keep it there. <laughs> you only remove it when it's in phase. So it could be six turns. This is crazy. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. I, I played it. It's there. You know what Bingo's doing? Well, Bingo's actually going to hit you for one. I guess you can't block it. I take one! Yes! <laughs> First point of damage in this game! And we've only been playing for spell. 15 minutes. You also don't pay the upkeep when it's phased out. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Help me out here, folks. I don't understand any of this. Aw, oh, man. I know I could choose not to pay, but then what would be the point of me of just putting it in a play? Okay. My turn? I swear if we go under the table at all. I'm going to have to play all these cards. I guess you're going to be able to hit me if I do that. 
Yeah, with my 1-1 one, one bingo? You're fine. Okay. Oh, yeah, I put three fade, fading counters on it. All right, so that's uh, orange cheese will be fading counters because we all know cheese goes bad after a while. I don't know what that's like because I've never actually let cheese get so bad. Eat cheese. Um, I'm going to play Carnivorous Death Pirate. Death Pirate! Ugh. Death Pirate. Death um, Pirate. At the end, or at each of my upkeep, I have to say it's flavor text or it gets destroyed. Save a kill spell for this card. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. If you say it even slightly incorrectly, I'm save getting rid a kill of it. spell to deal with this guy. All right, you done? Yes, I'm practicing. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. All right. All right, so it's phasing, but I still need to do the echo, right? Or it goes away. Plus one. So I'm paying all that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I put this one in play. Cool. And I'm done. <laughs> I'll keep save a kill spell to deal with this guy. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. I'm just checking. I'm not ending the upkeep until... If I had to play under the table, I'm going to make you lose that parrot. Ahem. 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 see why these are on the same show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it feels like it could be played in any... Okay, we're going to play another swoop. Meanwhile, folks, I'm going to put some cards so some from the white expensive. ones. Expensive! Ah. I'm going to do, was it a three cost? Oh, that's dangerous. That's fine, though. Oh, three's on the other side of the bingo. I'm going to play the Hoisted Hireling. He has, um, he has flying as long as he's being held above the battlefield. So he doesn't have flying now, but now he has flying. Mm-hmm. No, no, you can't. No, what? Well, there's no rules. <laughs> there are still <laughs> rules. You can't snatch cards from me. That's just rude. You're like a... <laughs> He's hoisted. By his what? He doesn't even need flying now. <laughs> you just bent the card. card. <laughs> okay, Fuck. I'm attacking you with my parrot bird. For two. I'm, I can't block it, so give me two damage. <laughs> um, This gets a th on the three. Yes. Where is the three? Not even in the same row as anything else. Yep. I feel like they did that on purpose. Here we go. All right. Back in phase. One of these goes away. Fading. I got to pay some sort of upkeep. Any one. Got it. Um, I really don't understand half the terms in this card, so I cannot literally play it. You could play it, but we. I'm gonna be play the thing Pippa, Duchess of Dice. Oh snap! All right, so she'll be able to in the future. Be able to. Um, Roll six side dice. Roll six side dice, and that becomes a creature with that much power and toughness. <laughs> that seems good. <laughs> it does seem good. That's pretty expensive, though. It's still good. I'm attacking with this old folk because I don't know what else to do with it. I guess I can chump block, and I still take two damage, or I could take seven damage. What does Rampage do, though? It, it, it's, it's trample, but it's only for two damage. So two damage gets. Are these like these are these are literally old terms they've gotten rid of? For the is this most. why the card actually looks old too? Probably. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They're saying someone's actually saying it's a very straightforward card, no new abilities, just common abilities from older sets. 
Thanks. Seems very straightforward. I haven't played newer sets or older sets. Unless it was in the Scars of Mirrodin block. I have no clue what it does. Um, cool. I'm just going to take seven. No, uh, you're not. Why not? Why would you not block with that flying creature? That's fine. I'm not saying I want this to end, but <laughs> he won't be there next turn. It's fine. That's, that's true. He's going to disappear. All right. I did it. I'm taking a break. Okay. My turn? Did Tom already pay Echo? Yes, I did. Get off my case. Yes, he played Echo. No, I, no, yes, I paid Echo. Yes. He paid Echo. Okay. Listen, sometimes your dinosaurs make it through. Um, I'm going to draw a card. Oh, it's Trevin who said that was all straightforward. Whatever. He's a troll. <laughs> Can you time him out in chat? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, goodness, let's just play more swamps, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Man, these cards cost so much money. So I have to pay the echo when it goes into phasing? I don't know. I'm not sure how it works. Somebody said it's so super straightforward, but I don't believe that's yeah. true. <laughs> Rampage, Rampage is only used when blocked by more than one creature, not the same as Trample. Roy. I added that Roy part. Wait, what does the rampage mean? It can do two damage to another creature? What's the point? I will look it up. I'm going to play this guy. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, Save this makes it plus it's two if it's, okay. if it's blocked by more We're than gonna one creature. We're going to attack with both these. Yes, flying. He's not flying anymore. <laughs> He's flying now. He didn't have it for half a second. <laughs> fine, I guess. Don't look at chat. It's fine. What's... This guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attacking I don't guy. get you. <laughs> fine. I'll take the two. Hit me. Okay, you take two. In the game. Okay. It's only a matter of time for Tom sees the chat. No, I already discarded it because oh, I, I mean I I forgot to follow the rules of the card, so it's fine. Yes. Okay. I didn't want to say that anyway. Are you done? Yes. Fine. I'm just gonna let that death <gasps> kill me. You're not the only person who has underdarm. Underdome. Underdome. I figure I figured there's one in each in each color. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it. It's free, right? I mean, it's one. It, that's it's, too it powerful. It costs as a land, huh? It's the same thing as a land. Phasing. See, I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna pay. I don't think I have to, though. You said maybe. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna play. <laughs> Fine. Are you sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna play. Pay. Oh wait, no. I want to do the six-sided diet thing. Roll a six-sided die. It becomes it's a green die creature equal to its power and toughness. That's real good. They're right here. Got it. I don't even care if it's a one-one. But a three-three works. Seems good. And tis all I shall do. Day draw. I need something. No, I'm sure you'll get something. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. <laughs> What's the matter? I didn't say my parents dead. It just now hit me. What? I I forgot to say upkeep and he's dead now. It's all my fault. I've caused bloodshed I'm for the cool things I have not said. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six-sided die. I'm going to do that too. On a three or cool. four, put a one-one counter. On a five or higher, put a plus one-one counter on it. Put two of them. Put two. Um, give me two one. ice creams. That's He's right. a 3-3 three, three now. 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Mm. Three, three. Three, three. See, that's the kind of creature, I know that magic players would have a really hard time with something like that happening all the time, but that's the kind of creature I would want to play with all the time. I like stuff like that. Five, five, six. Okay. Look 
at me. I'm R and D. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, there's another one. Look at me. I'm the DC. That doesn't work as well. What are you doing? I'm going to play. Uh... Wait, your guy just flipped this turn, so he's going to flip back next turn. That is correct. He's Ooh. not even there. He's non existent. Ugh. I guess I'll save my 3 3 then. I don't want to do that. But one of these will go away, and then after he phases again, he's going to be completely gone. So you only get one more attack with him? How does it work? I don't know. What do I care? I'm, the, I'm going with the flow, dude. <laughs> There's not a lot of thought being put into this particular game. Um, fine. I don't have enough to play any of this crap. All right, I'm preparing myself. By the way, thanks for killing the parrot, because now I'm, apparently we're going through the Monty Python dead parrot sketch on the uh. chat. This parrot? You know what? They did. They redid that sketch in its entirety on SNL one time, and people did not laugh very much. But I think you just can't recreate something like that. All right. I'm going to play this guy down. Yes. Um, I don't know what it is, but cheese is coming out. It is a six cost. Yes. Um, and when it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and put your head on the table. This guy dies if I don't take my head off the table. I'm totally cool with that. Are you killing? I'm just gonna lay here like this. What are you killing? I'm killing this. All right. Okay. Um, I'm swinging all, because I don't even care anymore. Cool. Um, there's a 3-3. Three, three. There's a 3-3 three, three right there, and this guy's flying. He's attacking you. No! <laughs> no! No! Thomas, no! <laughs> He's above the battlefield. He has flying. He's gone. Get you. Get you. I can't hit the thing over there. Can you hit it for me? Not particularly. I think you should get it yourself. What's well, your life points? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, one. Are you taking it all? That is going to be five in total if you take it all. Oh, I well, need you can six. Block with it. No, no. I took it all. You're a mad lad. I know it. I don't even know what our life totals are. You're going to have to update me occasionally. Uh, I'm winning 20 to 2. I'm just going to take a nap while I'm here. All right. Can I go back under the table? I don't think that thing's that powerful, so I would just let it go. It's a flying 4-1. Four, four it's going to die if I take my head off the table. I already killed a parrot. Listen, i got to follow these rules to the strictest because chat won't let me live. This is ridiculous, this card. Please let it kill me. It would kill you if I could play it, which I cannot. Well, I have cards that are just way too much mana to ever play, so there's that. All right, I'm playing this first and also tapping it to keep my dinosaur alive. All righty. I'm pretty sure that a forest... Does a forest have a mana cost of zero? Is that the case? No. No? They're not spells. Okay. Just checking. Well, was this a spell? No, it's a land also. Got it. See the part where it says land? I am playing the bronze calendar. I know if there's a way you can get your mic. Uh... No. <laughs> the everybody. bronze calendar makes spells cost one less to cast. Um, but I must speak in a voice other than my normal voice. If I speak in my normal I'm voice... I'm pretty sure that's your normal voice. It is not my normal you've been, voice. You've been hiding your normal voice the whole time, and that is <laughs> no, it. No, sir. Anyway, if I do speak in a different voice, I will sacrifice the bronze calendar. So, I can actually change voices if I get tired of the one voice. Oh, okay. I'm sure I'll forget in less than 30 seconds. Wait, that counts for when you play cards too, not just me? Yes. I don't like it. I still haven't got three in a row, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh. The dinosaur is attacking. Uh, I take seven. Okay. Listen, 
Still alive! Oh, and I'm sorry, the three also is attacking you. Will you block that one? Oh, dag. You could block with your skull saucer. No, I'm good. <laughs> You're down to two! I two, I said! I didn't need that life. My turn? I am finished! <laughs> okay. Can I go back to editing reviews now? <laughs> Can I please go back to editing reviews now? Okay, during the upkeep, I have to roll for this guy. Three. He goes up one, I'm pretty sure. I need one ice cream. Why? Because I'm a jerk. I'm a draw card. What is this? Ow, that hurts my ears really bad. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> This card does absolutely nothing. Don't do Mickey's voice or you'll get copyright struck. <laughs> do you know that Walt Disney couldn't get anyone to do Mickey's voice, so he did it to show, and they just had him do it perpetually after that, well, at least until he was frozen. Um, uh, <gasps> this card is dumb. Woo! That makes it kind of difficult oh, to pull Oh, shnikes. Off. Do you already have a three on this guy? Yes! Okay. I guess I'm going to play down another swamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. This is, I'm sure, entertaining. I believe there's two people watching. I know, right? Uh, I don't know how that card exactly works. Is that an instant card? Which no, card? It's an enchantment card. Okay, I'm not even going to play it. It's so dumb. Um, I'm going to... This is the only guy you have, right? He's a 1-1. One, one. That is correct. I'm going to... Attack. Wait, wait. I haven't declared attacks yet. That's fine. Thomas. <laughs> I'm attacking with that. Attacking with this. Actually, I only have two life left. That's not good. Um. Oh wait. You may be putting more effort into this game than huh. it requires. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to attack all. Um, and this attack with these guys. So, so how much is that? Four, One. five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven. Dang. Who's normal? This is on the ground, but he's a. Oh wait, that's two. Never mind. Oh, that's one. One, two, three, four. He's a four-four attacking. So total is a, is ten? No, no, he's four. Yeah, every, everything is ten. Hmm. Let me think quickly. What did you just play? Nothing. Nothing, I haven't played anything. I think I've passed carry. I will take <laughs> the 10. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, I gotta see what these cards actually do. What I'm the? going to have to um, play this card. Please say it does one damage to the somebody. The phases of each turn are now reversed. Um, so you do them in opposite order. So I'm going to go back. So I'm at my second main phase. How much does that cost to play? I think it's three. One, two, three. I'm in my second main phase, so now I'm going back to attack phase, which all my creatures are tapped, so I can't attack. You can't... This does not allow you to take your turn twice. No, no. It's, now it's going backwards, right? Sure. But you already did your attack phase. Right. Well, I mean, what do you mean? You don't get to do your turn twice. It just reverses the turn order. Judge! <laughs> I think it starts to go backwards from when this... This is a three-cost card to play. It starts going backwards. There's a two-cost card that lets you take a turn over. The phases are ending, post-combat phase, main, combat, pre-combat, main, and beginning. I figured it would just start so going backwards from combat, there. Right, so I know. now we're in pre-combat main. 
No, no, we did. I, second main phase, I played that. So then it goes back to combat, which doesn't matter. They're all tapped. So why then are we arguing to, about this? I don't know. Then it goes to pre-combat. <laughs> then it goes to draw. So I got to draw. Fine. But then I get to do untap. And I get to do upkeep with this guy and get to uh, roll the die again. I get another ice cream cone. It does sound right, which is weird. <laughs> okay, but this is an enchantment in play, so if you destroy it, it goes back the other way. You can destroy it right now. Destroy that card. What? Then it'll go back through my turn again, right? <laughs> no, go ahead. Take your, take your backwards turn. But your attack phase is going to be before your uh, upkeep, but this is going to happen at the very end of so your I turn. So I don't untap? No, you untap during the end of, d during the end of your turn now. Because upkeep's the last thing that happens instead of the first thing. Then I believe you won. I will discard this stupid card because I don't want to keep going. <laughs> I could take my head off the table, but I don't trust it. So I'm going to keep it here. <laughs> I don't draw to the end of my turn. No, you don't draw to the end of your turn. Yeah, okay, whatever. Then you win. I mean, that's just the way it is. That's. I can't. Then he phases that at the end. I can't play anything. I, I, I can't untap my stuff. Well, then you untap your stuff. You draw your card, and then you untap all your things. You could have a kill spell or something instant. Yeah, no. So, there you go. So, we start with no, my... No, you got a flying creature. Roy oh. attacks me, I lose! We're not dragging this out. Don't okay, be that okay. guy. I didn't know. Did I do it? This guy dies because I took my head off the table. You know, I think I would like Unsanctioned more if it was silly cards that were not... I would rather play this as regular Magic decks smashed together because this is insane. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's, like it's, it's hard much. to play too. I think, it's I think also the really hard in to this play. This one are crazier. You didn't see this one. I have Infinity Elemental. Yeah, he's infinite power. Yeah. What does that even mean? That means if you hit me, I would die. Does he have trample? That'd be no. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Flying trample. <laughs> I had an eight eight. If I could have actually got it no, played. No, just, I, I like the stupidity of the lot of the I cards. I would have been able to play this I next just don't turn. like the cards like that one that Wait, they actually. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't seven. know what I'm asking for. That changed the rules I so much that you have to, thing. to go real hardcore. Someone said, Broy can beat you with one ear on the table. It did actually hurt a lot when you were tapping on the table. That was crazy. I, this I'm was glad. an experience that I don't know that I need to have again. I don't even know if I'm going to put this in the, in the Dice Tower library. It's a little bit too crazy. Wait a minute. These artifacts, how do I know I, which I of the decks to put them in? I don't know. It would be nice if they would... Yeah, how do you know which deck to put this in? Well, I'm going to separate out what I can. Oh, look at this. That's awesome. Oh, is it every color? No, it's, it's a... <laughs> it's a split card. Here, jump to it. It's a whole Mike. bunch of different... It's, it's splits... And then splits again. <laughs> and then splits again. There are six different cards you can do with this. Wow, well, that card's actually pretty cool. Gain X life. Destroy target enchantment. Destroy, destroy target, target land. land. Depends what deck you've mixed it with. Yeah, but it's supposed to be in a specific deck in the beginning, so. Oh, that was. Alrighty, folks, we need gross. to jet out of here because we have other things we're doing, but. There are videos that have gone up live today. So, I mean, not live. There's videos that just went up. Check out our channel for that. And we, each night, every night, we're going to be doing Dice Tower Chat. At some point, someone will be there to do Dice Tower Chat, except tomorrow night, because that's Dice Tower Tonight, which is the same thing. Right. So, every night, look for somebody or other to be involved. Come on and join us. There will be prizes, too. Oh, snap. So, tonight, if you come on board, you can win a game. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Roy Candy. Thanks to Mike for editing. See you next time.